So today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to go from this to this grade in just a few quick steps in Adobe Premiere. What a beautiful day to be driving the boosted rev to the office. I definitely gotta take advantage of this while the weather lasts because well, soon fall and the winter's gonna hit hard here in Finland, which means no more boosted rev drives from me. I've been having a lot of fun filming lately. Last week I was out camping and just testing out the R5, and this week I made a fun little vlog while at the gym and having an office day here. But wherever I am, I've been wanting to just challenge myself to become a better filmmaker and learn how to film in more creative ways. Not only have I wanted to get better at filmmaking, but as well I wanted to get better at color grading. Color grading for me has been one of those things that I've been very hesitant about. I just felt like I didn't have the right skills or the knowledge to know how do you actually grade footage well. But I haven't wanted that to stop me, so I've been practicing a lot in Adobe Premiere, and lately I've been learning some new tips and tricks on how to grade your footage, especially when it comes to getting that nice teal and orange look. So I thought today in this week's episode, we'll jump into Adobe Premiere, I'm gonna show you quickly in a few steps how to get teal and orange look for your footage. So let's jump on the computer and start grading. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Premiere, we dragged our clip into our timeline, and then we are gonna go to the color tabs. Now, first off, because this is filmed in log, we're just gonna bring it back, so we're just gonna add a little bit of an S-curve, get those darks down a little bit, bring some contrast into the footage. As well, we're gonna add some saturation, so we're gonna add 110, let's see, 115, that looks pretty good. So already we've gone back from log to just a normal contrasty look for the footage. Now this is where you can get the nice teal and orange look by going to the HSL secondary. Basically here we're gonna be able to key out different colors of the footage and we're gonna be able to bring that teal and orange look. So first we're gonna start by selecting our skin tones and if you click here, you can choose color gray, so you'll see what you've chosen. And we wanna add a little bit more to the skin tones, so let's bring in most of our face. All right, so now we're gonna bring in the teal look. So you're gonna press here, which is gonna invert, so I can show you what happens. I'm basically affecting everything except my skin right now. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go to this color wheel corrector, and I'm gonna bring it down towards the teals. So already here, if I go before and after, you can see before the footage was a lot more uh, kind of brownish purple magenta, and now it's more teal. We can bring a little bit even more. And this is just fine tuning, kind of getting the good look, but you can already see the difference going from this warm kind of brown to a more tealish look. Okay, so far so good, but I wanna get my skin looking now more orange. Uh, I don't want to leave it like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another Lumetri color to the footage. And I'm going to go again to HSL secondary and I'm going to choose again my skin tones. So choosing all the skin tones. And then from here, now I'm going to add the warmth to my skin. So I'm going to go up here into the warm Already that looks pretty good. Let's see if I fine tune a little bit. So we got from there to there. So literally by adding two Lumetri colors and using HSL secondary, I was able to go from this to this. I think it's a pretty good look to the footage. Now, based on what kind of look you want for your footage, some people might want a more uh, dramatic teal and orange or less dramatic teal and orange. So basically you can just do that by increasing the teal in the color corrector and the orange or then lessening that. And based on that, you'll be able to get your look. All in all, this look is super easy to do. You don't have to make it complicated. Two Lumetri colors with HSL secondary. Put them to teal, put them to orange. Bang, you got your look for your footage. The teal and orange look. So this is what the Canon R5 footage looked 
log, no color grade, and now this is what it looks like with the color grade. I added a curves, a little bit of saturation, and then two HSL secondaries. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to color grade and get that teal and orange look. Sometimes the lumetri tabs and color grading can feel daunting and overwhelming, but don't be afraid. Go and experiment, test out different looks for your footage, and you're gonna be learning so much when you just get familiar with the different tools in Lumetri tab. All right, guys, thank you so much for being a part of this week's episode. If you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe, comment below your thoughts, tell me what are your favorite tools that you love to use for color grading in Adobe Premiere.